here's what's on my radar this week. Well, Omicron is the uh, only thing that we'll be thinking about for the next couple weeks, I would think. Obviously, uh, holiday season is upon us, and, and that's going to be great for friends and family. Um, but the, the news overnight uh, out of South Africa, uh, shutting down of, of flights, um, you know, Omicron is, what is it? It's, it's the 15th letter of the Greek alphabet, um, but it's, it's the latest name for uh, the, the variant of, of COVID. And um, we don't know yet. It, we do know it multiplies faster than Delta, than Alpha, than Beta. So we have that risk for sure. Uh, we don't know what the implications are for um, vaccines, how fast uh, they can change them uh, if they need to and, and so forth. We do have a lot of confidence in the MRI technology and, and hence why a lot of those stocks uh, ripped higher today with, with the news. So, you know, global risk off event, when you look at the weekly chart of the S&P 500 and frankly, most uh, major indexes around the world, we've got this really ugly, um, you know, reversal top, um, inverted hammer, spinning top, all these kind of, of negative bearish candlestick names for them. The last time we saw a month like this was January 2020. Not saying that that's going to happen and we don't expect it to, but where's support and what hasn't been tested in an awful long time? And that's the 200 day average, which is coming up just under 4,300. So around the lows from September, I would say almost certainly and very quickly, if the news does not improve significantly in the next couple of trading days and over the weekend in regards to Omicron, then I think we're going to get a bit of a uh, liquidation into the next couple of weeks until we get some news on on death rates and, and you know, the efficacy of our current uh, vaccine regimes. Um, you know, for those of you out there who haven't got a vaccine yet, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm speechless, frankly. Um, anyways, that's really all I can think of at this point. Um, market risk levels are high. Uh, if you look at the behavior of, of all assets, including gold, uh, some of the safe havens spiked up in the morning, sold off. Um, so you really have a sell what you can kind of moment here. Again, not looking for anything like 2020 decline, but certainly a test of support is in order. September lows from a structural standpoint, from a trend standpoint, the rising 200 day average seems to make sense. Um, would, would recommend people do what they need to to protect themselves against that kind of decline. If this variant requires a major change to the vaccine treatment and it takes longer to test and, and some of those worst case scenarios play out, then I think we've got um, some different scenarios, but we don't know any of that yet and we don't need to price that into the market or, or even play for that today, but be aware that that is probably a risk given the incredible euphoria and excitement about earnings growth and everything else, uh, this can take, take that down a notch quite a bit. Um, and then we could, we could even see a dip you know, to 4,000 or maybe slightly below that before the markets really catch some value, um, so to speak. So on the bull and bear pick of the weak side, what, what do you do here? Again, defense, we've been suggesting for a while it's not the time to get aggressive. Um, where you want to get aggressive is, is buying into longer te term themes uh, that you like. So we got to pull back in uranium names. You got to pull back in, in some of the medical marijuana. The stuff that's going to work post COVID, reflation infrastructure, building uh, demand for copper, all those things should be on your radar on the buy side. 
not Monday morning necessarily, but within the context of the next few weeks to add to those exposures that are, are going to work once we get past uh, this, this horrible, horrible thing to inflict the world. So that's really it for this week. And um, let's, uh, let's hope um, that uh, things are, are, are okay. And this is just another very mild uh, variant that is not going to cause anything material uh, that would cause a big um, change to the vaccine protocols. Have a great week, everybody.